Hey guys, Bolt here with the quickest entertainment I can give you, and welcome to SV Studios. We're here for Nancy Drew and the dis the uh, oh, up, oh, killer whale mystery. I I don't. Welcome to my latest case. Danger, Danger on Deception Island. Island. To learn how to play, choose gameplay overview. When you're ready to start the game, choose either junior or senior detective. I'm gonna go ahead and say, well, no, junior detective. Um. Only reason I don't do senior is because they always add a lot more, uh, like, if there's any puzzles, they make it a lot harder and they randomize some of them, so this is the only way for, like, walkthrough if I ever get in a Dickhead. bit. Here I am on a ferry bound for Deception Island, one of the San Juan Islands off the coast of Washington State. George's friend, Katie Firestone, is expecting me. Katie's a marine biologist who's doing research into deep water parasitic growth. She also owns a whale watching boat and takes tours out practically every day. I should be excited, but for some reason I feel on edge, like something's out of whack. Maybe it's because George and Beth arranged this little vacation for me, and sometimes their plans don't work out so well. Or maybe it's because we're about to dock at a place called Snake Horse Harbor. Kind of a creepy name for a town, don't you think? Or maybe it's because I haven't been on vacation for so long that I've forgotten how to relax. Anyway, we're here. It's not raining, but it's not sunny either. It's just kind of gray. Maybe that's why I feel so strange. Every year's Nancy. Katie? Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm Katie Firestone. Come on, I'll take you down to the boat. Oh, this is weird. Good timing, huh? I just got back from getting some groceries. George could not have picked a better time to arrange for you to come out here. Just last week, this orca showed up in the channel. And now it... Oh my gosh, what happened? Someone tore the place apart. The engine's a mess, parts are missing, others are damaged. Why would somebody do this? Do you have any idea who did this? No. <coughs> You're on vacation. Just go relax. Or bike into town. Or, or take my kayak out. It's at the end of the dock. Just always wear your life jacket. And don't go past the channel markers. And if the fog starts coming in, head to shore fast. The fog we get around here is as thick as cotton. And never go out without a GPS. That's a global positioning system. Mine's somewhere around here. Anyway, your bunk's the empty one below. Why don't you go unpack? Cool. So there's an orca. Oh, so there's a separate little island here. I'm betting that's gonna be the end point. Um, oh, so there's my bunk. Okay. My trusty laptop. Good thing I recharged my battery. Okay. Newts. Okay. Journal. My brand new anagram buster. If I come across letters that need unscrambling, I'll be all set. Cool. Okay, so there's an issue about the orca being around. So, I mean, they're beautiful, but very nasty critters. So I can make myself a sandwich. Cool. So. It won't be much of a sandwich if I don't put something in it. It won't be much of a sandwich if I don't put something in it. Mm. 
All right, so I'm betting that'll be bait for later. Okay, so pottery. Huh. That's from uh, one of my previous cases. Uh, that's weird. So just that, that's it. It's just a, a ticket. All right. Kayaking for a little bit. You know, Nancy, for what it's worth, I shot my mouth off pretty good at the town meeting last night. What do you mean? This orca, this killer whale, showed up in the channel about a week ago and has been hanging around here ever since all by itself. She was getting way too close to boats, so I called the National Marines Fisheries Service. They made some recordings and did some tests and are analyzing them. In the meantime, they ordered all boats to stay at least 300 feet away from her or risk paying a thousand dollar fine. That's what the meeting last night was about. I take it not everyone agrees? The people that fish for a living sure don't. They're steering clear of the whale by taking the long way around the island to get out to sea which cost them time and fuel. Some people say she should be captured and towed out to sea. And what do you say? I agree with the no boat zone. I also think that if she's found to be sick, she should be shipped to a research facility for treatment, not returned to a pod. I said as much last night, only much more strongly. I'm afraid whoever tore up your boat also wrecked your GPS device. Oh no. It'd be a shame for you not to go kayaking. I know. Bike to the Hot Kettle Cafe and see if Holt Scotto will let you borrow a GPS from him. Do you want me to call the sheriff for you? Actually, I'd rather not get the sheriff involved. The insurance company would raise my rates and I just can't afford that. Besides, I've got my very own private detective now. You. See you in a bit. Be careful out there. You know. <laughs> wow, okay. It would be rude to use my phone now. <sighs> Two seconds on. <laughs> hey, Bess, it's me. Hey, how's it going? Grab the phone. It's Nancy. While George picks up, I'm going to turn down the heat under my roof. Under your what? Hey, Nance. So, how's your vacation going? Great. I got here just in time to solve a mystery. No, no, no. No <laughs> mysteries, Nancy. You're supposed to be relaxing. Oh, give it up, George. She can't help it. So, what's the deal with this one? Somebody came aboard Katie's boat while she was out and tore the place up. What? Don't worry, we're both fine. The engine of the boat was damaged, but Katie's working on it. Why would somebody do something like that? Uh-oh. I bet it's got something to do with that orphan killer whale. You know about that? Katie told us about the whale when we called to tell her you were on your way. Someone vandalized Katie's boat because of a whale? Because of Katie's opinion as to what to do with the whale, which she expressed very loudly in front of a lot of people last night. Katie does have a mouth on her, especially when the subject is marine life. Did they find any fingerprints? Katie wouldn't let me call the sheriff. Why not? She said she was afraid her insurance company would raise her rates. Well, she doesn't have much money, I can tell you that. Uh-oh, Bess, is that supposed to be smoking like that? Oh, no! Darn it. Darn what? My roux. It's ruined. Oh, no. She ripped her roux. It's not funny, George. Yes, it is, Bess. What's a roux? A carefully heated mix 
mixture of flour and butter. I was going to use it to thicken my gumbo. Did you say gumbo? Rock shrimp gumbo. It was Chef Sherwood's main dish last night. She's hooked on this cooking show called Feasting for Fitness. Let me guess, it's hosted by a guy, and he's very cute. That happens to be true, but I watch it because I like his philosophy. Eat in moderation and eat only that which is made out of fresh ingredients and cooked with great skill, care, and judgment. What else have you cooked? Yesterday she cooked, or should I say ruined, crepes. They weren't ruined. I mean, you could still eat parts of them. Anyway, I want to hear what you're doing, Nance. How are you guys fixed for hints? We're good, just say the word. I can't help but think it's a little weird that Katie didn't call the sheriff after her boat was vandalized. You think she's trying to hide something? I know she's your friend, George, but I just got the feeling she wasn't telling me everything. Well, it's not like she's my best friend or anything, but what would she be hiding? Maybe there's more to her interest in that orca than meets the eye. So are you going to confront her? I don't really have anything to confront her with. Good, because as I recall, Kate doesn't do confrontation very well. My gosh, George. Is there anything else Nancy should know about this so-called friend of yours? Katie's fine. She just has a few edgy little quirks, that's all. Great. That's probably what they said about Lizzie Borden. I better get going. Way will be in touch. Yes. <laughs> What's in here? Uh, okay. And okay, not much for me to do here. Don't tell me I had to wear I had to touch that helmet, didn't I? Are you serious? <sighs> okay. So it's gonna be one of those things. Wow. You gotta hit <sighs> Why? Okay, this is going to be one of those games. Cool, just making sure. So there's something about sea monsters here. Cool. Huh. So a tool's gonna be needed there. Alright. Hang on, I'll be right with you. 
Actually, I'm looking for someone named Holt Scotto. So what do you want? <laughs> I'm Holt Scotto. I'm Nancy Drew. I'm visiting Katie Firestone. Well, now, why would you want to do a thing like that? Call myself Nancy Drew or visit Katie Firestone. Well, you're not one of them save the well and the heck with everybody else crusader types like she is, are you? I, I'm just here on vacation. Her true colors came out real clear last night. Us fishermen don't count. All that matters is rescuing that poor precious orca out there. To heck with people trying to make a living. Of course, it's the way she makes her living being hurt by that whale. Why, no. Her business is booming. Now, ain't that the oddest thing? Um. So, one, getting close to an orca is very scary for you because it's called a killer whale for a reason. And two, you can't really keep, you know, just throwing them at. If, if uh. Like. If she doesn't come, there will be other people outside in the marine biology kind of community that will come for that orca anyways. So she might as well be the local person of just saying, hey, let's figure out what's happening with her and then do something about it. She's back at the boat right now trying to fix her engine. Somebody vandalized it. She ticked off a lot of people last night. That's what she gets for being so meddlesome. Anyway. Welcome to Snake Horse Harbor, home of Cadborosaurus. That's how this place got its name, you know. Who is Cadborosaurus? Well, that's the sea monster Native Americans used to see out in the channel ever so often. Called it the Snake Horse. Had the head of a horse and the body of a giant snake. People on Vancouver Island started calling it Cadborosaurus after it or one of its relatives was seen a couple of times in Cadbora Bay. They call it Caddy for short. Does it ever do anything? Back in the late 1800s, he took the rap for a lot of hoodoo around here. Fog and roll in at night, and men would just vanish. It was the snake horse, people would say. <laughs> Little did they know. Why do you think they vanished? Well, they'd been to Shanghai. See, a bunch of establishments in town had secret panels built right into the walls. Guy'd be having a drink one minute, and next minute he'd be clobbered over the head, whisked into a secret passageway, and taken out to a ship waiting in the harbor. Now he'd wake up on the high seas and discover that if he wanted to survive, he'd better do what the captain ordered. No matter what he was before, he was now a sailor. It was a cheap way for captains to get crews back then, and an easy way for some of the town's citizens to make money. Whoever trashed Katie's boat also ruined her GPS. Oh, now that's a shame. She seemed to think you'd let me borrow one of yours. I'll let you borrow one, sure. I got a spare right here in my duffel. You know what else I got in my duffel? I have no idea. This is a little seamanship quiz I whipped up. I'm thinking about making people pass it before they're allowed to rent any kind of watercraft once I become harbor master. Here. The idea is to cut down on having to rescue people who got no business being out on the water in the first place. The trouble is, nobody's actually taken it yet. I need a guinea pig. You mean, if I take the quiz, you'll let me borrow the GPS? If you pass the quiz, the GPS is yours. You'll need that container for the last question. Did you say you were a fisherman? Fourth generation. I fished every ocean for just about every fish you can make money fishing for. Lived here for the last 11 years. How often do you go fishing? Every day. Only reason I'm not out there right now is because I've been in and out of campaign meetings since 8 this morning. You're running for office? I think it's high time people around here started doing what makes sense instead of doing what's politically correct all the time. Harbor master we got now bends over backwards so far for the environmentalist, it's a wonder he can still walk upright. 
See you around. Vote for Hulk. Spread the word. Okay, so that makes sense. Cool. The sun always sets in the. Uh, um, that's gonna be easy one. The current. Clamming without a permit. Okay. Left side of the boat is it's okay. Drives in the boat. What does this mean in orange code? Okay. And North Star is part of what constellation? Okay. Cool. Hmm. All right. And one last thing before I get off here. Huh, okay. <coughs> so that's kind of like the town's legend. Cool. Alright, well, anyways, I have to go to bed. I'm, uh, I was just gonna do this last thing. Oh, did I? Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, so it looks like we're doing a hunt for us to even get close to what we're needing. So these are easy questions that I could probably learn through like calling people. Um, speaking of which, who do I even have? I got the Hardy Boys, which is basically just the lower version of Bess. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's it. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.